Welcome to the file, QuickBooks Online Integration. This video will show you how to integrate file with your QuickBooks Online company. To access the setup, head to the Admin Settings in File, Accounting Integration, and select QuickBooks Online. This opens the integration in a new tab. Once you land on the integration screen, click on Connect to QuickBooks Online, and you will be redirected to the QBO login page. Please fill in your email address and password. And then select the QBO company to which all the file expenses should be exported. It takes a few seconds to connect and sync the data between your QuickBooks Online company and the integration. Once connected, you can continue to the next configuration step. Let's select how your employees are represented in QBO. QuickBooks allows storing an organization's employees as employees or vendors, depending on whether the payroll settings are enabled. Once you have selected the employee representation, you can then choose how employees in file can be auto-mapped to an employee or vendor in QuickBooks Online. You can map employees by name, email, or display ID. This will help file export expenses to the right employee record in QBO. Save the settings once selected and continue to the next step. In the Export Settings, select the stage at which the expense should be exported from file and how it should reflect in QuickBooks Online. You can either export expenses once they have been approved and are in the processing state in file, or when the expenses have been paid out. Once a state is selected, the integration will automatically pull in all the expenses that have reached the chosen state and keep it ready for you to export from the integration. Next, select whether you want to export reimbursable and credit card expenses. Start with the transaction type to export your expenses, bill, expense, or a journal. Choose the accounts payable account to which the bill should be posted to. How would you like your expenses in a bill to be grouped in QBO? All the expenses in a file expense report can be posted as line entries of a bill in QuickBooks. You can also post all the expenses in a payment queue as one bill or each expense in file as a bill in QBO. Set the bill date once the grouping is selected. This will be the date reflected in your bill, and you can choose it to be the spend date, current date, or approved date. You can repeat the same process for exporting credit card expenses. Save and continue. Next, import the chart of accounts to file. Select all the accounts that you will use while creating expenses. These will be automatically imported as categories in file. The integration also supports the import of other dimensions, such as class, department, and customers, as expense fields in file. You can map it to a default field in file or create a new field. For example, if you import customers from QBO as projects in file, then all the QBO customers will now be added as project value in file. Similarly, if you want to import a class as a location in file, you can create a new location value within the integration and map it to the class dimension. This will now import all the class values in QBO to the location field in file. You can also import vendors from your QuickBooks Online company, which will pull in all the vendors available in your QBO company as a merchant in file that can be selected while creating an expense. Once you have enabled the import of all the required dimensions, save and continue. Lastly, the advanced setting has a few optional automation and customization functionalities that you can enable based on your requirements. For example, with the schedule automatic export feature, you will be able to set a frequency to export your expenses from file to QBO automatically. This will eliminate the manual efforts required by the admin to export data and help save time. Another setting that you will find helpful while exporting expenses from file to QBO is the ability to customize the description of the expenses. From the standard data set, such as merchant name, purpose, category, date of spend, etc., select the ones you would like to set in the QBO expense description. You will also find a quick sample preview of how QBO will reflect the selected data.
Once you have selected all the settings in the Advanced section that you wish to use in your workflow, hit Save and Continue. You have now completed your integration setup successfully and are ready to export expenses from file. Note that you can change the configuration at any time by heading to the Settings tab in the dashboard of the integration. Happy exporting! If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at fileHQ.com.